Welcome to the tutorial for Geography 260. In this brief overview, I'm going to highlight some local history and geography sources that will be helpful to you in providing detailed information for your projects. These are found in print, newspaper, and online formats, and I've selected them primarily because they either provide information you may not find elsewhere, or they're sources that you may not be familiar with. If you're not sure what site or building to select for your project, try starting with some general works on local history. These three titles cover the cities of Kitchener, Waterloo, and the Waterloo Township respectively, and offer detailed accounts of local economic growth, the urban landscape, and individual businesses that have contributed to the development of the area. Note that they are held in one of our Tri-University Group Libraries, and the book on the City of Waterloo is held at the Laurier Library's Reserve Section. One really excellent resource is the annotated bibliography Waterloo County to 1972. It includes a corporate index at the back that lists various businesses in the area in addition to individual buildings and a section on buildings and architecture so you can look for specific buildings in that section. The other title, Kitchener Waterloo, the Geography of Main Street, is somewhat older, but it provides a survey of the area's urban economy and geographical patterns up to the early 1980s with some historical information about industrialization and planning. Another good source for local information is one of our newspaper databases. If you start at the library homepage, navigate to research materials, then down to news articles, then start with the Canadian News Database. This database indexes local papers such as the Waterloo Region Record and the Waterloo Chronicle, but note electronic coverage for local news is available beginning in the late 1970s. I'll do a search for a local company now out of existence known as Electrohome and add geographic subject terms for Kitchener and Waterloo. It's good to start with a broad search and not limit your results to only one local newspaper, as some national newspapers have coverage of our local issues and businesses that might be helpful. I can limit my results to just newspapers, and if I scroll through the results, I can find an article dealing with the site of the former Electrohome factory, now in Kitchener. Back on our page of sources for news articles, note there are a number of additional databases you may consult, such as Factiva and LexisNexis. Earlier editions of local papers on microform and microfiche are available at both the Laurier Library and the University of Waterloo, and if you need more help on using the databases, note our brief tutorial on the newspapers page. Finally, there are a number of online resources published by local and municipal governments and academic institutions that you should be aware of. The City of Waterloo's website has a detailed heritage section presenting information on Waterloo's history, historical walking tours, and a list of 41 individually designated heritage properties. This list includes examples of residential, commercial, and industrial architecture and provides some historical information as backgrounders to these structures. Also included is a registry of non-designated heritage buildings. The City of Kitchener has a section on its website dedicated to heritage issues, including a section on heritage properties, heritage conservation districts in the city, and walking tours. An index of properties is included, though somewhat limited in detail. You may need to contact city staff for more information. Both the Waterloo and Kitchener Public Libraries have extensive local history collections, specialized reading rooms, and hold items such as files on business-related subjects and building inventories. The Kitchener Public Library's site also has a house research guide that includes some additional tips on finding property ownership information through land registry records. The guide also includes information on the use of property assessment records. The University of Waterloo Library's Special Collections Department has an extensive local history collection containing a number of archival records of local companies such as Electrohome, Greb, and Kaufman Footwear. Lastly, don't forget the resources available to you in our library collections. If you start at the library homepage and click the Primo Advanced Search link, you can do a more refined search. Here I've done a search on the specific subject terms Kitchener and History, and I've added Industry below. And, as you can see in the search results, we find very specific titles on local industries. 
That concludes the tutorial. My name is Peter Gensinger, I'm the Geography Librarian, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email or call me directly. Note that links to these sources will be up shortly on the library website under the Course Guides section.